before launching my new portfolio website. I'm hiring some AI agents to help me make sure that it's nice. We'll use a beta tester, we'll invite an AI copywriter, and we'll invite a bunch of clients with different thinking hats. This is my website and uh, let's ask AI or ChatGPT to quickly go through it. And how we'll do this is simple. We'll uh, use the plugins and then it's, it's a plugin that lets you browse the web. I'm asking, always using a similar formula. It's an expert in user experience design. I'm launching the portfolio, so some background. Go to the website create a side map of the pages, check spelling and grammar, check if all the links work. And that's what it did. It went through all my pages here. Didn't find any typos, but it did find some missing page pages I had forgotten about. Uh, let's see. So first it starts up with the home page. The links are working correctly. The meta text are right content seems to be relevant thank you and then it's just going through all these pages and in the same time it's learning about my website i wanted to write clear concise crisp copy so again let's make chat gpt an expert now in copywriting for the web one that is sorrow and picky and i asked it just to go through these main pages and tell me why you want to change it or what should be changed Again, this is used as a head start. This is used as a way to quickly understand things. For example, uh, this was really useful. For example, my headline used to be social innovation at startup speed, uh, which, okay, maybe not, might not really be clear. So it gave me an alternative, accelerating social impact with startup innovation. And then um, I changed it around to be clear, social innovation at startup speed. This is, the website, by the way, in my typical color palette I've been using for years. It went through all the pages of my website, reviewed old copy, uh, gave me suggestions, and then I used my own common sense. I used my own reasoning to then decide how I would change the copy. We're inviting my clients or AI clients to review the website. And I'll use the technique of the thinking hats by the Bono. It's a handy way to, to have a different perspective to look at your website. The task of the AI is to critique the content using the Bono technique, imagine potential clients and giving each of them a thinking hat and then just show the internal dialogue. So I asked them to, do, to go to the top level pages and see what is good, what could be better, which questions do they have, which new ideas arise, and so the white hat is more about objective facts and information. It said uh, there's not much info about my process or methodology, which is right. So um, that could be useful to improve this. So then we have the red hat, emotions and feelings. Um, let's see what could be better. More warmth and personal touch, stronger emotional con Ah, that's true. Why am I passionate about social impact? It was in there and then I removed it because I wanted to have more brevity, but, but uh, I'll add it um, on my about page here. I added the section here, how uh, in 2017, I stopped the fast paced, very commercial startup life and uh, decided to only work with social organizations. And so that's the, the whole idea to go through this uh, via these thinking hats. Uh, that's it in a nutshell. Um, I think I'm ready to launch now. Uh, let's go. Bye.